everybody, welcome to 60 Minute Access of Far Cry 5. I'm Bronson Fiore, joined by the always fantastic Brandon Smith. He always says it, but I don't ever feel like he means it. Eh. That's not true. That's not true. Bronson is, uh, if Bronson is anything, he is genuine. Anyway. He's a genuine person. Thank you. Yes. Um... So we're here to talk about politics for the next hour. We're here to talk about uh, politics and Pornhub. Yeah, so... <laughs> what a way to start the fucking... <laughs> we, had, we were having an interesting discussion as we were having lunch and setting up the equipment this week. <laughs> um, so we're t- so someone like was posting on Twitter about how like Pornhub is a possible alternative to... Uh, to um play as the ed. no yep i don't know i don't like that guy i like either of them yeah they both look shabby as fuck but anyway Pornhub is a possible alternative to um youtube because youtube's going down the tubes oh look it's jared leto and um and it's just like oh yeah if you like alex jones and the Infowars network Enjoy these two lizards fucking in the Oval Office. <laughs> or lizard people fucking in the Oval Office. That kind of got us talking about how if anybody was going to jump over to Pornhub as like a viable network, it'd be Alex, it'd be Jones. Alex Jones and InfoWars. That's the InfoWars guy, right? I, mm-hmm. I haven't been making an ass of myself. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay. You're, you're correct. Yeah, I feel like he would do it as a statement. And then we were joking about how we would jump ship too if Alex <laughs> Jones did that just to fuck with him. Just to fuck with And I was like, I would join the InfoWars network for a check. Why not, dude? They want to Why cut, not? If they want to cut us a check to do this, sure. Yeah, I mean... It, I'll, I'll, I will I will come <laughs> out and be like, we are Info... Like, I, I'll, I'll happily go to E3 and be like, yeah, we're InfoWars is a gaming network? Yeah. Only, okay. Like, and we, we kind of talked about it before. We definitely talked about it before. But um, my initial reaction was, as long as I didn't have to say the shit that he, he that he says, I don't mind. Yeah. And then I realized that even if I had to say it, I would just do it in such an asinine, like, sarcastic way that he would be, like, the only person in the world that didn't think it was a joke. You know? They should have let us put on subtitles before this comes in. I know. Yeah. Whoa, this is fucking gorgeous. I know the rest of the game doesn't look like this, but... Yeah, this was a game I really wish we could have got the PC copy for. Even the lady looks like Jared Leto. <laughs> They're all Jared Leto. Wow, he even like kind of sounds like Jared Leto. Is it Jared Leto? I think it's Jared Leto. I don't know. What do you think? Siri, search Jared Leto Far Cry Five. <laughs> no, I don't actually think that. Okay, <laughs> I found this on the web for Jared Leto Far Cry Five. I'm so glad that got caught on audio. I'm loving this. <laughs> Is it just a bunch of comparisons? No, it didn't. It didn't search Leto right. Oh. Dude, he does this in Blade Runner. The fuck. <laughs> well, this game is already uh, fucking gorgeous. Say that at least. Ah. Yeah, this still looks really good. Yeah, it still looks really good. It looks. I don't know. This uh, is pretty average. I, I saw the uh, PC version running and it looked just as good as the cutscene. It looked damn good. Damn good. I mean, nothing's ever gonna look just as good as like a pre-rendered movie. Yeah. Um. Don't... Would you still live in Reno if they had erected a giant statue of Jared Leto in like uh, in like, uh, like you know why, like why are they ele- like putting up the statue? They're really big fans of Suicide Squad. It's not Jared Leto's Joker. It's like Jared Leto's like man bun. I don't. I, I mean, I probably I would probably. <laughs> You'd be disappointed though. What if they I, did it like if it was like Family Guy where uh, Ad, Mayor Adam West erected the statue of Diggum to like distract from his like uh, fucked up bill that everybody was against. Hold on one sec. I mean, oh no! It was. Then I'd be upset if that was the case. Right. Well, that's the only reason they would do that. No. If it was, like, someone's art... Okay, so... In Reno, we have... Or in Sparks, I guess, technically, we have an art space called the Generator. I don't know if you've ever been. Yeah, we also have the Space Whale downtown. 
Yeah, and uh, the Potentialist, yeah. I think is what it's called. Yeah, we, um, have, we have a lot of art stuff here. Yeah, but these are all like spaces where artists go to like make yeah. their shit. And I think the generator is probably the biggest one because it's a literal warehouse. Yeah. Um, and they have a lot of really cool art projects in there. And if it was just someone's art project or passion to make like a Jared Leto statue, I'd be into it. Yeah. I'd be like, fuck that's, that. that's that's hell yeah. You live what are they making? It? I'd, I'd be wanting to know like their process, like what they're making it out of. I want. I'd want to know why Jared Leto. I would want to well because he's a damn good actor regardless of Suicide Squad. Like, oh, I know, but I know, like, but like, he's a damn good actor. But like, there's a lot of really hella good symmetrical face, bro. Well, I guess he looks like a very, he looks like a Burning Man Jesus. Very good looking, very good looking actor. He's a mm. he's a an upstart chap. Oh. Got like was that four, raised three, three, yesterday? That yeah. 100 percent i was gonna comment about that actually uh earlier i just realized that when we were clearly i was like oh yeah did i bring that banana in here my mom always waits until this is completely like non non sequitur i guess but my mom always waits until bananas are like like brown to make banana bread out of them yeah that's what most do yeah i just didn't know because you know stephanie had mentioned wanting to make banana yeah, bread she, out of them. she does that too yeah um well that can just fucking rot then yep for smoothies, I prefer it the other way. I'd rather have them be... I want them as as fresh as I can. Yeah. I know um, my friend, Tori, my old manager at Barnes & Noble, mm-hmm. I used to work in the cafe, uh, as we're all probably aware at this point, mm-hmm. and um, we had bananas that you could buy for like a dollar, mm-hmm. and every single time, Tori would come in and be like, what are the bananas look like today? Because she only wanted them completely green. They're always, like, too firm when they're completely green. He's fixing something for us. What are you doing? Explain to the class. Putting on subtitles. Oh. Now we got them good old subtitles. <sighs> How much would it take for someone to pay you to, like, say whatever they wanted you to say? Like, the most fucked up thing you could think of in your head, to obviously don't say it. But, like, how much would someone have to pay you to say that? On, like, a show like this or on, like, public radio or something. How um, much would it take on, for you like, to... the regular? No. Just, like, how much would it take for you to Kramer yourself? Do you know what I mean? I would say... Depending on what it is... I don't um, think I could do that. Because the fact that, like, Kramering yourself is, like, a phrase... Is, like, too damning to me. Like, how much money is worth that? Like, then you just become that guy. You yeah, know? but, like, millions of dollars... Like, that's what it would take. It would take millions. Millions? Yeah. Millions of dollars? Millions. Because at that, that point... That would be a pretty fucking compelling thing. But again, like, not only does everyone on the internet hate me, which doesn't matter. I don't care. Everybody on the internet probably... Everybody who's aware of me on the internet probably hates me anyway. Um, which is kind of an asinine thing to say. But, uh... Your friends and your family have, like, a different opinion of you now that they've, like, known that... Like, what did PewDiePie's, like, closest friends think of him after that whole scandal? I mean, they probably know him well enough to where, like... Oh, that's the thing I wanted to, like, bring up that I thought was, like, kind of a funny little trend, I guess. Like, that guy Ninja, that streamer... Yeah, he... He, uh, dropped, he recently uh... PewDiePied himself. He Kramered himself. And that seems to be, like, the thing that, that happens now... With like YouTubers slash streamers, I don't think ninjas really is a big deal. Like he was just singing a oh, yeah. rap song. Like fuck you. Well, people. but the the counter argument to that was that he like wasn't he was singing a rap song, but he didn't know the words, so he replaced them with that word. Oh, that was the context. Yeah, there was that word's not originally in that song. Is the oh, is okay. the thing about it, and that's why people were mad about it. In his, yeah, I can't unsee Jared Leto. It's it's impossible for me. Anyway, um, no, I just thought that was like, I was like, how many more are we gonna have to get before like Twitch streamers stop like doing that? I mean, I Ninja don't... Ninja was definitely a lot better than PewDiePie in terms of like what I he did. I think PewDiePie's but... was even that bad. Like it's <laughs> it's like shitty. But... I don't think PewDiePie's a racist. I definitely don't. I don't think PewDiePie's genuinely a racist. I think he's. You know, he made a really ignorant mistake, yeah. but, you know, we do. And here's the thing, like, we say this because we have the luxury of editing. Like, that's, I know. that's the to the Twitch stream. It's like, 
That's why, like, before Twitch streams, I'm on everyone's ass. Oh, yeah. About, like, hey. Don't say this that. This is live. Yeah, don't be a fucking idiot. You know, like, I remember when we had that Mario stream for those 52 hours, like, Kevin came on at, like, 2 a.m. and told Did he crammer himself? No, but he did tell us the story about how he almost got chlamydia. I don't think that's that bad. No. It's probably gross, but... <laughs> yeah. It was probably really gross. That sounds like a Dimitri story. Yeah. Not that Dimitri has chlamydia, but... Yeah. That sounds like the kind of story he would tell you. Yeah. Is this guy the... The villain? Yeah, this is the fucking... What's his name of this one? Yeah, like the... the how they always have that guy. Yeah. They're always, like, crazy. Oh. It's always the same character, right? Like, not literally, but the same basic kind of character. Like, just some dude who, like... This guy seems to be, like, super culty. Yeah, this guy's cultist. culty. The first one was, like, just money about... Like, about money and piracy. Pagan. Pagan men, right? Four? Far Cry 4. I forgot what 4 was. He was, like, Th a pink-suited guy? Three, yeah. 3 was the one where it was just, like, uh... Where it's just like, I'm just kind of all about torture and money. I'm like... I so the theme here is like... like uh, across can, all these villages. I can get behind that. I, sure. Yeah. I mean, whatever, dude. You're passionate about something. I'm not I'm not saying it's okay to do it, but... Uh, you know? A lot of people you, aren't you, even passionate about anything. Yeah, like, I, I mean... It kind of bothers me when games do this, where you're, like, supposed to play this game, and then you fucking, like, are led to something. Well, Especially that, in a game that, like, Far Cry's, like, open it's, world, it's right? It's super open. Like, uh, You don't need this intro. The thing that bothers me about this is, like, this is, like, this was, like, fine back in, like, the 360 era. Well, where yeah. this was just, like, such a common... Well, the, thing, and we were still learning. We didn't have, like, but, I don't want to say the technology, but I guess, like, the memory to, like, do a good intro that's not this. So this yeah. was how they got around that. Like, Arkham City did this, and it was fine in Arkham City. Yeah, because it, well, also it was a lot shorter than this. Yes, and you also had to, like, establish the world of Arkham City, because yeah. it's not your typical Batman world. In, in this, you had a lengthy cutscene to establish the world. Yeah. Like, this, this just could have been part of that fucking cutscene. Right, you didn't even need that because that didn't. There was no gameplay there. It was just you walking. But a lot of games do that. It's like I would rather them just go the Uncharted route of just show me the fucking cutscene. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. Yeah, I mean it's cool. Apparently, I like that you can kind of. I don't know. I've always liked that, like, the, the Far Cry games are... Oh, wow, that guy fucking went up into the rotors and got fucked. It's like a fucked up Legend of Zelda from a first-person perspective, in that your protagonist never speaks or says anything, and but this one's a lot more, like, immersive in that respect, cause ooh, it, because it's first-person. Ooh, late, late title card. Late title card. That's, a, that's new. Uh, this game, from everything I've been reading the reviews, handles, like... It's it, people are saying like it's not political enough. Oh, well, for the well, subject matter. Yeah, like, like it's I'm the, getting it's a lot about like race relations and and like the, social justice like, or whatever. Yeah, like they apparently say it's like not political enough. Versus, uh, like, which you know I can see that like because I look over at like Bioshock. It's such a hard like, thing to be. It's it's hard to quantify. Well, the thing about it is like, how do you get? Oh, can you... Is this the part where you can fucking... I don't want to say anything. See, they're all like this, though. All the all the Far Cry villains are just, like, batshit crazy people they're, that are supposed to be super smart, but just kind of come across very, like, insane. They're all nuts in different ways, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this guy comes off as, like, culty while he's, like... Look at how big his eyes are. Some people have big eyes. Some people got big feet. You know who got big eyes? Oh. Jared Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto. Jay Leno. <laughs> I do not have big eyes. Um, my eyes are like weird because sometimes they're big and then sometimes they're not. I just got like squinty eyes, I guess. I don't know. Oh shit! Like the 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 their the person running their radio was fucking them. Oh, that was an inside job. Cool. 
That's neat. That is cool. Plot twist. No one's coming to save us, apparently. And that's supposed to be creepy. Because he's so close to you and there's like Dutch angles from the perspective. Supposed to tell you that something's off. I can see why this would be like annoying if it wasn't like overly political. But again, it's like super hard to do a a political game without coming ac or movie anything like well, a political like, story without coming across as like super ham fisted and right. So this game went the opposite route and it affected it in a negative way. So like you have to strike a balance. There is. I think Bioshock does a really flow. good job of that. Yeah, like Bioshock does a really good job of just well, like. Fucking objectivism and, and Rand. And the like... cool thing about Bioshock, to me, or the thing that makes that work for Bioshock, and it, I, I think in most media that gets, like, political, is, like, this takes place in a world too similar to ours. Bioshock's definitely, like, its own Del Toro-inspired thing, you know? It, like, definitely exists in a in its own plane of existence. By the way, this so being can... upside down has been just fucking with me this entire time. Yeah, I... Mean, it's giving me a badass headache. I'm not... Oh, thank God. Oh, stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Yeah, oh, it God. was making me pretty woozy, too. But yeah, like, this... Uh, th the problem with being political in games that take place in, Ooh, in worlds that I resemble our own too much is that, like, you're too familiar with the politics of our world, and so if you kind of, like, push an agenda too much... Or if you're trying to say something, it's a lot more obvious, I guess. Whereas, like, with Bioshock, because it takes place in its own world, it's a little bit more open to interpretation. And you have to learn more about, like, the way that their world works. And you can draw parallels, and they want you to, but it's not nearly as, like... Um, I'm trying to think of the right phrase for it, but it's not coming to my head. It's not nearly as, like... It's not shoved down your throat nearly as badly. I don't know how, how else to word it. Um... But yeah, I could see why a game like this not being political enough would be annoying. I think the last game I played that striked that balance really well is um, the Wolfenstein. Yeah, uh, which one? Uh, the newest one? Yeah, the newest one, the, oh, the new you, Colossus did you, did or something like that. Did you rent it or pick it up? No, or were you just no I still have to, just like based on what we played though, it was already fucking crazy. Uh, well, it was real fascinating, I will. Yeah, I, I still have to pick it up. I don't uh, know that I want to, like, drop money on anything right now, though. Oh, well, my thing is just, like, I have so much to play right now, and, like, that list gets even bigger next, uh, pretty soon here. Yeah. So it's just like, eh, do I really need it? I, I feel that. Because, like, I still need to finish Shadow. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I still haven't finished the story for Fighters. I, I need to do that again, because I fucking... Did it on the three, or on, did the it Xbox. on the Xbox. Xbox, and, like, yeah. Do you still have that copy? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, I mean, even if I did, like, it's not one of playing the game. Right. So You'd rather have the character on your own copy. How the fuck? Is that a fucking honey badger? Where am I supposed to be going? It's up to you. Okay. I guess let's raid these redneck houses. Yay! How would you approach doing a... If you had something that you had to say, mm -hmm. how would you approach, like, telling that story? Like, in a narrative manner such as this? Like... Like, what... Uh, without... Like, I guess without like, getting like, into... Like, like, okay, like, how about we'll put it this way. What would you say? What would be the one, like, message you would want to get across to people? It doesn't necessarily have to be political. Um, um, just, like, what's step, something... Step outside of your comfort zone. Like, and, and I, when it comes to ideas. And I realize that would be really hard to do. Hey, we figured it out. It's a difficult thing to... How would you tell that story, though? That's the thing, like... That's, it's a, yeah, that's a hard story to tell. Yeah, it's a difficult story to it's, tell without being yeah. too obvious or Disney, I guess. Uh, if I end up liking this, I'd probably buy the PC version, because I want to see how good that looks. Jesus. This looks super pretty as it is. I mean, it can't be, like, dog shit awful, right? But, but, I mean, I, I want to see how much better it would look, because damn. No, I mean, like, the game itself can't be, like... Oh, no, it's... Just, yeah. It's a Far Cry game. It's probably functional. It seems to, fu it seems to play like a Far Cry game, so... 
Like, I'm pretty sure... But I've it. heard, like... A, every For every one person that posts about liking it, I see, like, five people posting about how shitty it yeah, is. Yeah, the thing is, though, is, like, a lot of people are bitching about the politics or lack of or, like, something to do with the politics of this game. So it's not even about the game, it's just about the story? Yeah, it's like, just everyone's complaining about its story in some fashion. It's, well, it's, Far Cry is kind of a narrative thing, though. Yeah, I know. But it's also, like, a gameplay thing. Like, yeah. part of my favorite parts of Far Cry 3 are, like, many, like, lighting marijuana plants on fire. Yeah. So is this just, like, watered down, then? Is that what it feels like? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people. That villain already, like, very much screams, like, Far Cry 4. Okay. I don't know what it is about, like, Far Cry villains to me. Everybody talks about how compelling they are, but I never get... The, the only one I liked was the one in 3. Yeah. And that's because he was, like, he was fresh at the time, and he was, like... That he was, was the like, best the... well done He was the, the, he he was the well genesis done. of, like, the fucking... I'm crazy. I'm... I'm the crazy one. Um, I don't know, like, that shit... Uh, always... Are you not getting any game audio? The uh, game audio was very quiet for a second there. Oh. So, I Yeah, no, I mean, like... I don't know. I guess I'm tired of seeing villains that are just psychotic. Um, because we, we often try to humanize our monsters. Mm -hmm. It's been something we've always been fascinated with, and I get why. Like, I'm fascinated with it a lot of the time. Like, it's interesting to see, I don't know, I used to do a lot of research on, like, serial killers, because I like to learn where they're from, you know, like, what drives a person to do that. Um... But at the same time, not every story needs to be like that, you know? Right. They're making this fucking Joker origin story movie, and I don't need to know where the Joker came from. I don't need to know what the Joker's life was like before he was the Joker. I don't care who plays the Joker or how compelling the story is. That'll never be the definitive, like, cinematic Joker to me, because to me, the Joker needs to be a character that you don't know, you know? Like, I need the Joker to be someone that, like, I have no fucking clue where he came from or what's going on in his head, or that, to me, is always the most compelling version of the character because you know exactly where Batman comes from. You know exactly what's going on in Batman's head. You don't know that with the Joker. That's what makes him, you know, a compelling villain. And when you put an origin story to that, you're humanizing... You're effectively humanizing this monster. And I guess, to me, it's like... We don't need every monster to be you know, human. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making no, any that, sense No, that. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. Um, At risk of sounding really shitty, I did watch Black Panther and we didn't talk about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I feel like it's... Uh, my opinion is very like controversial already because I definitely didn't hate the movie at all. I thought it was a fine movie. It's sufficient, but I think I needed to see it before the hype made it the greatest movie, superhero movie ever made. I, I, I had not, no point, like, I, I did not understand the people who were saying that. Me neither. And, the, okay, so the biggest complaint I have with the film was that while Michael B. Jordan gave an incredible performance... I thought his performance was super fucking solid, and I already liked Michael B. Jordan as an actor to begin with, so it's no—it's not slamming him. It's more the writing of the character, and I guess probably the, the overall thesis of the film. I felt like Killmonger was very lackluster and did not deliver on what everybody... what my expectations were for the villain, I guess. Like... There was never a moment in my mind where I thought, like, oh, maybe Killmonger's not such a bad guy. Like, yeah, he's passionate about what he's about his cause, and his cause is just. But it's that whole, like, the path to. The path to hell is paved with good inten yeah, intentions. Yeah, that's. And I know. Famous, famous phrase I've uttered many a time. Yeah. Uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Right, and. I don't think that the ends justify the means and Killmonger's means weren't like you know in fucking Spider-Man Homecoming which again I very famously like am whatever about it's not my favorite Spider-Man movie by a, a wide margin nor my favorite Marvel movie but Michael Keaton is my favorite Spider-Man villain B 
because you fucking get him, you know? There's, like, one moment he has where it's, like, definitely villain, definitely villain. But every other moment, you're, like, you kind of get behind him. I think I still think Michael Keaton as the Vulture is the best Marvel villain so far. He's my favorite. Yeah, well, it's because they humanize him, and they also, yeah. like, they also, like, that fucking when you meet, when they're both out of costume and they meet each other. And yeah. he has that talk in the That car, is a fucking chilling moment. Because like, both oh, actors are so fuck. on point. So on point in that sequence. And um, even the daughter uh, was, like, super fucking good at just playing, like, I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's going on. You know, that's a weird, like, movie cliche to me. Go Are ahead. you okay? Just want some spit. Oh, you already drank all your Powerade. Um, you all good? You gonna throw up? Uh, no, I'm not gonna throw up. Oh, you look like you are. Uh, whew, okay. Alright. Bronson almost died. Um, I did. No, I mean, like, this one leaves little faith. Take him to pilgrimage. Yeah. So the thing that like the the thing about that scene that like it's not that scene. It's it's like movies in general do this. <laughs> they'll they'll like have two characters be super fucking intense, and you can see it all over their faces because they have to to like show the audience that they're su- super tense. Mm-hmm. But then every other character around it just like doesn't notice what's going on. And I know that that's more for the audience than it is for the actual story, but it, like, bothers me because in movies people are so fucking bad at lying. Mm. They always, like, trip over themselves so that the audience knows that they're lying to someone. Mm. When in reality, like, everybody in the audience already knows how to lie to someone. Like, everybody's lied to people before. Nobody's ever, like, uh, stammering over what they're saying. Of course, that's it. You know, that's not how people lie. Right. Usually they've already thought of the lie before they before they lie to you, you know? I don't know. It's a, like a nitpick. It's like a small nitpick, but it's like definitely a cliche that I, I notice a lot. But that scene does it so well. Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Is he good? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. Maybe. Kill him. Can you kill him? Damn. Hmm. We're only 28 minutes in. Damn. We haven't... We, we've played, like, we have that action beat. Yeah. But, like, we haven't got to, like, the actual game game yet. I know, yeah. But to be oh. fair, Yakuza 6 took us oh, so long to... We also skipped most of the story bits in that well, one. Well, we, we backed out and loaded a different spot. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. No, uh... I thought Black Panther was fine. It was just like there are, are a lot of weird plot things that the movie does that um, if another movie did it, people would be like, oh, worst movie ever, but Black Panther does it. And because I think because it's a Marvel movie, this is a common trend with Marvel movies. Because it's a Marvel movie, people are like fine with it. Um, maybe that's just because Marvel's built their whole entire like series on that kind of shit and so people are fine with it but it's just weird to me like some of the like contrivances uh, I just don't want to spoil anything so I'm trying not to get too deep into it are y'all good? yeah no I'm just I'm actually kind of engaged in the right. story you look like uh, you had like that coughing fit and then you like zoned out oh yeah no I'm good yeah I'm actually just kind of engaged in the, this fucking character that saved us yeah I don't blame you um I know I kind of, like, talked through the whole thing, but... Um... You got through the whole thing, and you didn't, they didn't know who you were. Oh, Just, I was, like, Russian roulette this shit. I get to build the guy. Does it even matter, though? <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10. Hmm. Oh, look, my E3 costume, or my uh, Evo costume. Hey. Got it. Yeah, for sure that. And, uh, God damn. There's not enough Merc clothes. I know. 
just dress like this guy. Just <laughs> get that haircut. Wear those gloves. They didn't let you change your boots, huh? Mm -mm. Worst game. Zero out of ten. Too much water. Dead meme. <laughs> Dead meme. Dead as a do <laughs> People probably don't even remember that meme. <laughs> yeah? <clears throat> it is fucking hot in this room, dude. It gets warm during the summer. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, good news is, is um, once it actually gets warm, warm... I installed the air conditioner, so we're fine. And it actually doesn't pick up on recording either. Good shit. Good shit. We, uh... Um, I feel like it goes without saying. But we're both very tired today, so if this episode isn't very good, that's my fault. Uh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, uh... This game should be compelling, so... Yeah, like, th this is a game that where we typically... It's very, it's not like Wolfenstein fucking carry. Intense, yeah. That, that, like, we're like, oh, joke. I know, yeah. Ah! Yeah, it, it sucks that the compelling part happened right in the middle of the thought for me, because especially when I'm tired, my filter kind of dissipates, so I just kind of go on. Um, but I'm already interested. I'm going to be fucking... Ugh. I'm gonna be livid if this game ends up being a lot more political than people are giving it credit for and they're just like bitching. Oh boy. I think you should do the last one. Probably. I should do all of them. Yeah. But we only have so much time. All right. Are you going to kill these guys? Does the green mean they're good? Why is there no map? Oh, he's a hostage. I know a lot about video games, people. I know everything about video games. I know more than Bronson. Sure, why not? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I know everything about deer blood. Okay, tell us about deer blood. It's red. Oh, okay. Probably thick, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go <laughs> on. <laughs> Has a kind of a, a liquidy consistency, I assume. I've possibly had it on my hands before, but I couldn't tell you for certain. Okay. Have you ever had, like, veal or uh, deer meat or, like, deer jerky of any kind? I have not. Okay. I have not. No, is it good? Yeah, deer jerky is awesome. I've heard that deer jerky is amazing. Yeah, we should, uh, we should order you some deer jerky someday. Is it expensive? Yeah, it it sounds expensive. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. Deer, like, the, like venison in general is kind of pricey. And like, anything that isn't, like... Cow. Cow or chicken or turkey. Like... Even turkey kind of gets expensive. It's good for you, though. Yeah. I like turkey. Turkey's good. Turkey's not even that expensive. No. Like, turkey's not that bad. Like, it's just, like, fucking, like, buffalo is expensive. Right. Deer uh, is hella expensive. Like, I... I Duck is duck isn't duck expensive? Duck can be expensive. I've never had duck before either. It's greasy. Yeah. Duck is very greasy. It's in my experience of having it. Yeah. Um You found the drown house. On the sea. Hooray. On the sea. Um Okay. <laughs> I thought you took the key for a second. So you have to push that button like 12 times in order to open a fucking door? 
That's fucking weird. I know it's all about immersion with gamers nowadays, but you really shouldn't have to do that. I agree. That's like those games that, like, make you fucking hold X, like, 30 times and swap shit out of your inventory just to, like, grab something. Let's go fuck up that shrine. Look at that fish. That's such a cool detail. That fish. That fish. What's a fish? Alright, so we're in the real Far Cry part of Far Cry. Hooray! Ooh, oh, oh no. Kill him. He's only got a, a, a gun? I know everything about guns, too. Let me tell you all about them. Alright. They're metal. They're awesome. They're made for killing people. They're awesome. Um, they make loud noises when they shoot. Ooh, I've, I've definitely fired every gun, and I can tell you that they... Um, uh, some of them might work better than others sometimes, maybe. What's your favorite kind of gun? The long one. A Barrett 50 cal? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm nearly dead. Uh, I know everything about dying, too. That one, I believe. I, uh, I die frequently. Damn. She was she was fucking dead as fuck. Uh, hey, we got a story mission. Hooray. Hey, yeah, this is it seems like a far great game. It's it's definitely that. So people's complaint about this is that it's not political enough. Yeah. Like it Do you think people are going to complain about our episode not being political enough? All right. Uh let's talk politics. Okay, I know everything about politics. <laughs> Um, I definitely know how to talk out of my ass, but that's, like, that's, kind of an inherently American trait. That's, that's, that is the, the chief trait of the American politician. Yeah. So you're halfway there. All right. Would you vote for me? Tell me what your policies are. About what? I don't know, whatever. Just, just, what would you do? Like, what, what, what are your key policies? What, what, um, what does Brandon Smith want to get done? I want to uh, legalize anime. Okay. No, I want to ban anime. All right, you're going to put vote. a <laughs> put a permanent ban. I'm going to put an embargo on anime. Anime imports from Japan. Yeah, no more of that shit. Um, anime is for jerks. Yes, I'm going to make it a decree that people who dye their hair are thoughts. Like any color or just any color. If you dye your hair, you're a thought. Well, then I would have been a thought at one point. I'm a thought right now. Alright. I got dyed hair. I feel like I forget a lot <laughs> of times. Your hair is not naturally blue? I feel like I Fucking genuinely forget that sometimes. It's been so long, Bronson. Uh, that's... It's been a long time. Um, I would make the decree that all that women um, must... Uh, all women must be... Uh, born in order to live. Okay. But men too, because it's all about equality. Alright. Um. Uh. You know what? Fire. Good. <laughs> to be fair. That's my, pol that's my policy. To be fair, you currently have more of a platform than the upcoming 2018 Democrats. Yeah. So, feel. Or Trump. Yeah, that's true. Trump did not have a platform. He did not. Neither did Hillary, really. Her platform was, well, we're not that guy. We're not that guy. And that's not a platform. That's just a, that's a slogan. Uh, that's a that, that should have been her slogan. We're not, we're, we're not that at guy. At least we're not him. Uh, uh, I think I would ban... Um, I would put an embargo on... No, not an embargo. Yeah, an embargo and a ban. A permanent ban on... Uh, fucking spray tans and toupees. What do you got against uh, toupees? Bald is beautiful. Bald is beautiful. So if you don't be ashamed of who you are, that's my platform. Okay. That's my platform. I... Don't be ashamed of who you are. Bald is beautiful. And I'm not bald, so I'm like ugly. That's basically what I'm saying. If you're not bald, you're ugly. That's my platform. 
Oh, wait, no, that's the plot of Bobo Bo, and we already banned anime. <laughs> so. We're making live action Bobo Bo. Oh, God. <laughs> don't. What a nightmare that would be. <laughs> don't give them ideas. Don't. <laughs> I'm, okay, and I'm never the guy to be like, fuck live action anime, like, right off the bat. I, like, kind of have to see it before I say that it's bad. But Jesus Christ, don't give them ideas. <laughs> what is one show? Okay. No, picture this. Live action, fully, fully. No, I don't want to picture it. I don't want to picture it. I. It's perfect the way it is. It's perfect the way it is. And it's going to be banned soon if you vote for me. So cherish it while you can because... <laughs> Not, not, not for long. Well, actually, the the second season looks pretty good. Second and third season. I'm very, very excited. Oh yeah, more Haruko is mo mo, mo Haruko, more mo better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what um, Brandon's mini waifu is. I sold Brandon a waifu today. He sold me a waifu today. Uh, I did. The internet would be disappointed in me. The internet is disappointed. Your, your mother in me. certainly is disappointed in you. Oh yeah, that's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I uh, I think my chief um, my chief reason for not wanting kids is that I know that no matter what that kid would do, it's not it wouldn't be good enough. <laughs> it's just fucked up to say, but I'm already not Kinda. good enough. I'm not I'm already not good enough for me. My expectations for myself are way too high. Imagine if I made a person. Uh, okay. You know what I mean. It's like, you must be the greatest of us all. Well, and not just that. Like, okay, first of all, I'm way too competitive for that shit. Way too competitive for that shit. And everybody always wants their kids to be better than them. And I'm like, no. Like, then who, who am I going to, you know, I'm like, I'm like Vegeta. I'm like, who, I need to, I need something to drive me to be better at the things that I do. And if I want my kid to be better than me, then I've lost all my drive. You know? That's not logically sound <laughs> i'm just talking out my ass right now i'm, I'm practicing being a politician <laughs> but, um if you ran for president what would your policies be everyone fend for yourself <laughs> i like that uh you're looking at like a mad max dystopia where bronson is like the dude from fury road the like the king of all of the mad of the <laughs> mad max gremlins yeah the desert desert the desert baldies hey bald is beautiful there you go all full circle new. there we go see all full right, circle well. witness me that's all you need to know <laughs> the, 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 they're not telling us where to go at this point they are not they gave you a story mission and then told you is that the story mission? <laughs> this is the worst episode of 60 Minute Access it says li- ever. Liberate Dutch Island, but it doesn't tell me how to fucking liberate Dutch Island. Or where to go. It's like, so, let's say I, I went and I did that track. What island are you on? Is this Dutch Island? Yeah. So what do you do? I'm gonna head down this road. Wait, go back to the missions, mission screen. No, that, uh, the one with the list of, wait, go back up to that one. Build up resistance forces by freeing hostages. Oh, so you have to just do all that shit that they told you to do earlier. You're falling asleep right now. Am I? Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, I looked over and you were like passed out. out. They, they just want you to do those four things that they told you to do earlier. Oh, I did. What I did. You did one of them. I did two of them. Did you? I rescued a hostage. God damn. We're both asleep. I rescued a hostage. I got a treasure. In fact, I took care of two shrines. So, I I definitely say that this is the worst episode of 60 Minute Access every episode we record. Yeah. But this might actually be the worst one. I don't know, man. I've been on some pretty bad ones. Uh, this might be the worst one that I've been involved in. Probably. You're fucking falling asleep over there. I don't even know what's going on. Um, uh, oh, time to lose the body. <laughs> the flies are a nice touch. Uh, that's what that's what I gotta say about that. This game has a lot of really nice little touches. It's super pretty. The blood uh, reflects. That's cool. Did my phone just die? I think I just felt my phone die. Oh no! The fucking screen was on the whole time. 
fucking damn. Can you kill that? I don't know. I don't know why you let that go free. That's part of the cult, and you just let it run away. Cause it's free as a bird. Oh, but it's a, but it's a deer. You have to go track it down and murder it in front of its young. And then set the forest on fire. That's the plot of Bambi, right? Totally. I I haven't watched that movie in like so long. That's kind of one of those movies where like I feel like I've watched it, but it's probably been so long that I'm honestly not a hundred percent certain that I've actually seen it, and that I don't just remember the cultural, the the like the cultural bits of it. Reaping truck. So I feel like. I feel that way about, like, most of the Disney animated movies, actually. Because, like, there's a, a big part of me that knows that I've seen it. There's also a big part of me that's like, did you actually watch it, though? Or are you just kind of, like, aware of the tropes from it? You know? <laughs> Do you I, ever... I very much remember watching it as a kid. Yeah. But, like, that's what I distinctly remember about Bambi is, like, watching it as a child. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, I definitely haven't watched it in my adult life. Um, and... Uh, my childhood memory is pretty spotty, so I remember the animation of Bambi, and, uh, Bambi's mom dying is, like, a meme, so, which is, like, fucked up. It's, like, fucked up that they made this deer mother murder, this mother deer murder a fucking meme, but we made Harambe a meme, so, we make Spongebob memes a meme, and that's offensive to me. That was some sick fucking stealth, bro. <laughs> I think he just killed John Wick. Good. Is that a dead meme yet? I just throat punched that guy. You absolutely did. Just wha boom! Yeah. That's how you gotta start a fight. You just go throat punch someone. I'll do that today. I'll let you know how that goes. Do it when you're at the bar tonight. Go, I go, go throw pencil. I have not been at a bar in a while. Really? Yeah. Um, I know we had the you were cut back on drinking conversation, but... Well, I'm just largely tired of people talking about how, like, they just want to get drunk. Fair enough. I'm just getting tired of that mentality, you know? It's fun, I guess. But also, like, it's not the only way to have fun and people act like it is for sure. That guy is the chodiest looking dude I've ever seen. He looks like a chode. Sorry, guy. Get some new sunglasses or something. If you were a pair of sunglasses, what do you think you'd be? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really know types of sunglasses. Like aviators or Ray-Bans or those wraparound ones or whatever. Probably fucking aviators. I feel like most people would be aviators. Uh, like, the aviators are comfy, man. They look good. Yeah. I'd be like knockoff Ray Bans. Like, like I'd be that style, but not Ray Bans. But not Ray Bans himself. Because uh, they're too expensive, man. I'm not fucking rich. I'm not rich. I buy nice things. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, I'm, I I'm. But I also get fat bonus checks. Right. I'm the kind of person that even if I had the fat bonus checks, I would look at the Ray Bans and then I'd look at the knockoffs and I'd be like, what's the actual difference in quality here? And then I wouldn't be able to justify spending the, the difference in price on that, so... You are, like, nodding off something fierce right now. No, I heard what you're saying. Yeah, no, I know you heard, I heard, what, you heard just, what I was I'm saying. I'm also, but... like, just trying to focus on not dying and climbing the tower here. Yeah. Woo! Now jump. Do it. Do it. Activate order 66. I fucking was just thinking about that the other day. I had some weird, like, plot contrivancy about that specifically. Not that you need to, like, look for plot contrivancies in the prequels, but... Or in Star Wars in general. People act like that's just a prequel thing, and that's definitely a Star Wars thing. Mm -hmm. Dumb shit happens throughout the entire series. Alright, let's see what the whole cow is like. Hey, it looks like a bunch of land. Alright, so... Go to Jacob's region. Feeling Jacob right now. He's got like this uh, lumberjack. He's got like this like Dollar Shave Club kind of aesthetic. 
But he definitely doesn't shower, so maybe not. They offer shower products, right? Yeah. I kind of wonder, like, I've been, like, curious to try the Dollar Shave Club. Same. Same with Blue Apron. Like, all those... Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my next my next mattress I buy, I'm probably gonna get through Lisa. Yeah. Because, like, they, they, they keep being advertised on, like, Giant Bomb, and, like... That, like, they actually bought one. They're like, yeah, it's a pretty good mattress. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of those. Um, there are some that I'll never, like, buy into, like, Movement. Yeah. They're supposed to be solid watches, and they're supposed to be cheap, but $95 is still too much for a watch. Uh, man, I feel like a jackass now, you want to lie. Why? I've been looking into the Apple Watch. Well, the Apple Watch is different, though. It's not just the yeah, watch. because I've been looking into, like... Oh, but you feel like an, a jackass for, like, wanting one? Yeah, like yeah. $400 watch. Granted, like it's it's not just a watch. That's yeah. the thing. I mainly it's a want it for device. work because I just can't. I'm not allowed to like, keep pulling my phone out. So just yeah, use it, like uh. yeah. <sighs> I um. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! This is the slowest fucking recording session ever. I feel we like we had so much energy during that first beat, and then like, I know, and then just like gas. Yeah, just completely dead. The game is not helping. Yakuza had these dynamic fights and shit I know, happening. it was very... It, like, the beginning was super slow, but that's just because story. But then once you got into the game, it was very fast-paced. And, like, Far Cry is not traditionally, like, a fast-paced no. game. It's also... Very... Oh, what? Is this Jared Leto? From earlier? No. Not the same guy? Oh, Jesus. I, I meant that as like an exclamation, not like a, this is Jesus. 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 Every now and then I wish we had face cam. Jesus. Well, and then I'll, every now and then I'm also glad I'm not, because I've seen us, like, when we record, when we don't actually, like... Honestly, like, if we had face cam, we'd probably play it up a lot more, but when we're just recording, we're not doing anything interesting. We're just sitting in a room talking. Yeah, but we'd also, like, have to, like, dress up a little and, like... Yeah. It'd be... It'd be... We're fucking ugly, so it's like, do you really want to watch that? Do you really want to stare at me and Brandon for hours at a time? I know. Like, Ray. Ugh. I mean, when we try... Occasionally we, we'd, we'd Jared. Okay. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Nightmare child. <laughs> we're gonna have to bring jared on one time and then just be the nicest people in the world to him and then the minute he like stops being on the show we just like start shit talking him again <laughs> he knows the thing is jared's acutely aware of our shit talking it's not as if we do it behind his back like the minute he shows up we're like fuck you it's basically my relationship with roey but like roey actually responds well, but also, that's just also Roy's relationship with everybody. Like, my, my, Roy definitely, like, he tries to be that guy to everybody, too, that, like, gives everybody shit, but it's... Like, like my response, like, like Roy will show up at a party, like, God, Roy, you suck. He's like, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, and, then it's, and then we hug. And... Well, but that's, yeah, but that that's Roy again, like... I... He, I called him Roy at work, and he was like, nobody fucking calls me that anymore, Brandon. Call me John. And I was like, okay, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check it out. You can see the bullets uh, hit water all the way up here. That is fucking cool. Oh, they opened up the fog, too. I was wondering about that. I was like, what the fuck? Does the whole up? map open up now? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I was, I, like, I thought, like, fuck, dude, they, like... Okay, so... No, no draw... To, well, we don't have any time to really do anything, so... That's fine. We definitely didn't do anything in this game. Uh, solid 10 out of 10 fucking... Um, uh, best, best fucking LP ever. Um, who uh, makes this game? What studio? Ubisoft. Was Ubisoft sent us sent us more. They didn't. They didn't send us this. We ordered this. We yeah, we this. ordered this. Send us them. Oh, oh fuck. damn! What the fuck? That was barely a fall. That would have hurt my leg. That would not have killed you. Uh, I'm no. mad. This game sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the thing that pisses me off about it. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair thing to be... Greed. He crossed out greed, though. Zaz. What's the... I was thinking of Zaz when I saw that. That's very, very... Let's see what uh, happens when we jump. Oh, fuck oh. you. 
Oh, oh fuck you, buddy. How the fuck does that not kill you? What the fuck kind of bullshit... Alright. That's obnoxious. You get a speedboat. You should climb up that tower again and see what it's like to jump all the way off. We've only got five minutes of this shit left. Oh! <laughs> Splattered. I want to play Halo again. I've been thinking about Halo a lot. I like Halo. Everybody likes Halo. I love Halo. Halo is great. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge Halo fan. Like, is Halo Five on that Game Pass? Yep. Yeah. Oh shit. So is every Gears game. We should play some Halo. Might be done for Halo. Yeah. They're gonna be putting out a uh, Xbox One X patch to fix up Master Chief Collection soon. That'd be cool. So we can. Play I forgot it. that's a thing. Is that on Game Pass? It is not. Damn. But you and I can. I'd play. buy that. Uh, you and I can play a lot of Halo soon. I'd be down. Uh, dude, that would kill That's me. A, that felt, I kind of felt that. I kind of felt that. Just, My favorite thing to do in uh, in uh, Spider-Man 2 was climb the Empire State Building and then jump off. And then like right before you fall? No, I would just let it, I would just let it fall. Because in a lot of games when you jump off of a building that high, mm -hmm. it'll kill you before you reach the ground. But that game like That you game does not do that. It just lets you fall all the way the fuck down. Fuck! Uh, are we just going to keep killing ourselves for the remainder of the episode? Eh, maybe. That'd be fun. Anyway. Let's find new ways to do it, though. Let's not just keep jumping off that tower. Fucking bullshit deer. I don't believe in your values. Oh, wow. That was creepy. Watching the blood spread across its corpse like that? Eh. It was just like... I didn't expect it. Challenge completed. Deer skinned. Hey. Hey. You boy. now wear the pelt of a... Of a dead creature. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> You're like, wow. I feel so... Epic. Oh shit. Swim faster. Oh, fucking with parachute, are you kidding? Seems like that's incredibly useful. You should... Um... Do something fucking insane with your last three minutes. I don't have any explosives or anything to really go... Well, that, then, there we go. Hey, we found an ATV. I'll take it. Have to be doing something dumb with this. Yeah. Just drive off of something and do a sick jump. I want to see the mods for this game. Oh, the PC community has kind of done something crazy for this, right? Yeah. Oh, you're not supposed to be here yet. Wait, wait. Does the... Does square break and make you exit? No. Like, does it reverse? No, I don't think it does. Uh, I, I just asked because the cursor popped up, and I was like, that'd be a really stupid control scheme. Alright. You need to find a jump. There we go. Oh, shit! ATVs would be fun. Just, like... To have. Have you ever ridden an ATV? Yeah, I've, I've ridden one. I've never driven one. Oh, you've never driven one? They're sick. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather uh, gave me, like, gave me my dad's. Yeah. Do you still have it? No. My grandma, my grandpa might still have it in storage. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be a fun thing to do. That's the fucking best, best part about shit like that is, like, we have all this sophisticated technology. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And yet we still just, like, like, all you do with an ATV is, like, drive off hills and shit. You just, like, drive in dirt. Jump shit's just fun, man. Yeah, man. Well, like, what is blowing stuff up? Like, that shit's probably the most fun thing in the world. And all you're doing is just, like, making shit fucking pull apart into, like, a million different pieces with fire and and a, and, and a loud bang and force, yeah. Um, and yet it's still so much fucking fun to do. 
It's not even like you're doing it. You're just watching it, you know? You start it, and then when it finishes, Ooh, you're just watching it. Oh, this is the it. South Park entrance. Hey. I think that's kind of the thesis of how I feel about this game. It doesn't have to be complex. Some things are... Hey, there we go. That is probably the best way to end an episode. And we just hit the armor! I know. Look at that. Just grab the gun with my America shirt on! Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, wow. That is That is fucking pretty. gorgeous. Oh, get that shit out of here. Go uh, back to the other thing. Oh, that guy's ugly. Get him off the screen. Uh, anyway, we'll be back next week with Kirby. And, yeah. I like how we just kind of stopped talking about how we felt about the game. Not much to say. It's a fucking Far Cry game. I know, yeah. It is a Far Cry game. I guess not enough politics, question mark. I mean, like, there really hasn't been any in this. Like, like I was expecting a Bioshock level of, like, here, let's talk about objectivism versus, like... Is that what the marketing of the game was like? I mean, that's, that, that's what fucking the game was like. Yeah. I mean, like... No, I mean, for this game. Yeah, it was very political. Like, the was marketing just, was super like, political. Like, I remember, like, at E3, and just, like, American flags and shit everywhere, and, like... Like, talking, like... There, there's, like, a quest that references Trump, but you don't really do anything. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, I guess maybe they should have tried a little harder to... Implement Russell some of those ideas. Russell people's jimmies? Yeah. Maybe they were trying to play it too safe. I mean, That's I, usually what happens with shit like this, where when, when like it's trying to make a statement, but it doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So it doesn't end up making that statement, it just kind of says some very vague things. I don't know, man. I think we need to stop playing things safe. That would be my platform. Don't worry about like pissing someone off, and if someone gets pissed off, then like have a discussion about it. Okay, you want to know what I have to say about this game? We're done. Cool. And... Hooray. Damn. <laughs> that is, like, kind of a scathing review of it, almost. It's more Far Cry. Yeah. Um, if you like what? Far Cry, but you don't really care about the story, then get it. Yeah, like, it's it's definitely more of Far Cry. I'm glad I got to play more Far Cry. Hooray. It's really pretty. Um, I think that game took everything this is, out this of is, us. This is, I, this is just like... That was soul-draining. Yeah, like, th this year has been not... It's no 2017. For no. Games. Like, Dragon Ball and Monster Hunter were fire. We had some solid remakes that are n just a sea of nothing. And then, like, we got Yakuza early, but most people are, like, still three weeks out. I know. So, oh, Nino Kuni just came out. That's good. But it's all, like, remakes and sequels and shit. There's yeah, nothing, what? like, new and interesting. I guess Celeste. Yeah, Celeste was cool. But that's an indie game. Like, AAA games it's still. It's like Dragon Ball. <laughs> that's it. But even then, that's kind of, like, part of a franchise. I don't know. That's... And, and it's using, like, fighting systems that are essentially just, like, we took a bunch of shit from Persona and Guilty Gear. And yeah, and Marvel. And Marvel and put Dragon Ball on it. Yeah. All right, everyone. We'll be back uh, next week with... Kirby or Sea of Thieves? Maybe we'll have more energy or some shit. Hopefully. Bye, everyone. Know. We love you.